we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse than the day. Damn. We went through the wall, not the window. Is somebody up there? From window to wall. What the fuck? Wait here. Enough, all right, just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Should probably get that fixed. nice to a fucker that... Is that his son? Toads? I think. I mean... Be nice in there, okay? Corporal punishment spanking. <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taken off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing, but it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. He looks scared. The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. You know, his apartment's <sighs> a shithole, but it Grown looks ups. moderately clean. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. I like her. See, that's the Just thing. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Clearly, how someone is with kids says a lot about them. Now, granted, being... They don't have to be good with kids, but, you know... Not this they at least have to... Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off Try the to be nice. Uh -huh. Someone who's mean to kids just for shits and giggles. The table. Or the boy was faffing about, playing salts and swordfish. Who knows Sods what's allowed? Swordfish. That's funny. Wait, was that? Both plugs are taken. Yeah. Why is that one blue? Uh, 
milk crate. Must be Australian. Oh, there's some blood. But no, like, someone who's mean to kids, they either have a lot of growing up to do, or Bleeding? they're terrible people. Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll but cut me end. The big Ran one. Like a tit trying to pick dating, out a rap. Or Must have got some on the phone. you're getting to know someone. Lamp in pieces, blood on the one wall. One of my rules. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. If your date Oi, is rude don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very I'm long, done. you know. Uh, Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> now, I understand and if default. the waitress is rude or the waitress sucks. And I don't mean just kiss the waitress's ass. But, I mean... So he cut his hand, huh? But... That more blood? You know. No. Just a clean space I don't like dust. people that are rude waitresses or something. Or uh, Keep maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? It matters. It matters. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Big B. Hello? Anybody home? It's a spot of dust. I'll clean it later. more in tall class. Monaco Grand Prix. here on the windowsill but like I said junior leaves his toys around all the time these don't look like they're from a toy oh well just last night when I'd come out I was in a, a downright dizzy mate as you would be <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place and I had to climb in through the bloody window really scared junior off to death Here. The poker? What of it? There's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Well, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Doesn't okay, look like Sheriff. It. Now what? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> a ruinous flip of events, really. Oh, wait, didn't it say it was hot in the fucking... Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that What's happened. Splattered? Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Busted latch. Well, Why well. is the lock busted? Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. And this doesn't have anything to do with the blood. Oh, for Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. But you just, well, just like came into the window. Bloody building. Hmm. Why 
Why'd you climb in through the window then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? Up to the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was mercy. looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Oh. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. He come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I can tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? He mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know if he'd already been there, was going there, but... He said something about it. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Ah. Oh. I even tried to give the blouse to the coat. You wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. The merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. All right, we should like. Yeah, just confirm. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. We gotta protect Wait. the toad. The poor dude's had a rough go of it. It's an envelope. Fucking hell! Of course there is. If my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. <laughs> it's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to? Try and give it to him, or? I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? Being a hooker? I don't know. Being a hooker? But maybe Lawrence does. Being a hooker? Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. I mean, look. It was very there's people nice with talking open relationships, you, and there's Thanks. people that. Uh, see ya. You know, monogamy is not a thing. No judgment. If two adults can be happy doing anything amongst themselves, other adults, I support it. It's not hurting anybody. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our but only lead, really. Typically. When you put it that way. It's not common for people to be 
totally cool with their wives being hookers. Although it's way more common for people to be cool with their wives being strippers. Just, I guess that's where they draw the line. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown Snow business. Me a bit more. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. the knife. Sawyer from Lost. <laughs> That's who. Big BS. Oh my god. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with No! You. No. Let me go. What is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water. Kitchen. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. It's a big hole in his head. Is this about faith? <laughs> faith. Yeah, I should have just asked him instead of getting him water. Alright, they did a fantastic job. Do you still job have that letter? Line. Yes. Like, I hear it, especially with headphones on. Then I see it go by. It's only two words. I'm seriously wanting to just watch it. died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this. This is pretty engaging. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Now I got a gun. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Is the caliber of the gun on the floor? Oh, 
That doesn't really help. Sharp. And there's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Oh, I see. Strange. The hard edge of this pool, like corner was here and got moved. And I looked at that, so it's in there. Oh, hideaway bed. Son of a. Stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. So he's the reason she got killed. Hopefully they're together now. And they tried to make it look like, a, this like point. a suicide. See, he's got the, uh, he's got the blade that was used to cut her head off, right? And the sleeping pills Why and a single gunshot to the head. Before all this. chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot him himself. Does it, though? Next week, pizza in the fridge. Please don't look for me. F. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Jesus, fuck. Stay here. No. I should have seen that one coming. Good music. I got a gun. Shoot him. Hey, stop. Leave me alone. Never gonna catch him now. 
Ooh. That one's got me. Dude. Inside here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? Had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Then who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Oh, he did kill himself. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down... leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yeah, been there. With an open wound on the back of your head. Been there. <clears throat> Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. <laughs> 